Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, first of all, excuse if you hear any noise in the background, I've got my son at home. Um, so we're going to do an unboxing today, and this is a Diamond Art Club. Um, this kit is not new, but it's one that I have wanted for a long, long time. It kept get, um, going out of stock um, when I did have the money to buy it, so I finally managed to get it, and it is Tree Frogs. So it's going to be a quite a quick unboxing. I don't want to go through all of the drills this time just because um, I'm a bit short on time so I'm gonna get this out of the box, show you the drills in general and show you the ABs. I don't think, no this one doesn't have any fairy dust or um, is it electrolyte diamonds because this is an older kit but we'll have a quick look and then I think if I can't get the canvas all in one shot here then I will do like a shot of me holding the canvas downstairs in better lighting so let's get this out right so we've got the canvas out i also forgot that i bought a six tip placer with this kit and that was because i'm in the uk so sometimes um i don't hit the free postage threshold so i grabbed one of these instead of buying two kits because there wasn't anything else that i wanted in stock at the time and i didn't want this one to sell out so let's see if i can get you a bit closer look at the frogs aren't they beautiful absolutely love this kit it's 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters so in every diamond art club um, box you get your kit you get well, your canvas you get a tool kit and you get a little sticker that I always put on the ends of these boxes so up here is where I put mine and that helps me when I store these away because I keep the boxes um, I don't keep these tool kits so I won't bother looking in this I'm sure most of you have already seen what's in here so I, sometimes I keep these um, unopened for if I ever de-stash anything and somebody wants a tool kit but other than that I don't use anything in these tool kits sometimes I use the washi tape and um, sometimes I'll open it just to have a look at the washi tank, but nine times out of ten, I don't. So I'm going to take the plastic cellophane off and show you the canvas. Are you ready? I'm really excited about this one. I think this tree frogs kit is absolutely beautiful, and I am a bit biased because um, my <laughs> my partner's favourite um, animal is a frog. So when I saw this when it first released. I had to get it, I knew I had to get it, but it was just, at the time it got released, I didn't have the funds, and then it sold out really fast, the second time it sold out really fast, but it is actually still available at the time of recording this, I think. So, in here you get an instructions booklet, which I don't need, then you get your sticker sheet with all of your colours and a much bigger picture of the artwork. This has 54 colours and it is called Tree Frogs by Corbett Gorthia, 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 I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Terrible with names. Okay. Lots and lots of greens. Lots of greens, which is brilliant because green is my favourite colour. This is a round kit as well, which I've only just noticed. I actually thought it was a square, and I did not pay any attention whatsoever. It is actually a round. Um, unfortunately, that means that because this is an older kit, let me see if I can bring this up. It has the... So unfortunately, because it's an older kit and it is a round, it will have the guide circles, which I absolutely hate. But with this kit, it won't be that noticeable because there's not a lot of dark. So I hate the guide circles on dark canvases. So if there was a lot of black, I really wouldn't, wouldn't, would probably have been put off by buying it. But because this is such a colourful image, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, actually, to be fair, most of them are very faded. So all of this orange, you can barely see a guide circle. It's only on things like the red, some of the greens, where they're contrasting colours with the other symbols, I think. And then down here, these bits right here, they're guide circles. Um, but the, the actual sky doesn't have, doesn't have like a really bad guide circle. It doesn't actually have a guide circle at all. 
which is really strange. Because um, usually they have them or they don't on all of the symbols. But yeah, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? So we've got four frogs in the picture. There is four ABs and no, yeah, as I thought, no special special diamonds. Um, by the looks of it, the ABs are a green, a lighter green, a yellow and a white. Here's one of them right there. That's like, that is like a funny olivey green in the background there. Um, I think I'm going to have to take these out to show you. Also, we've got, there's the yellow, AB there, but I think I might have to take these out to show you. Um, I'll get the ABs out, but then I won't pull everything out just because it's quite difficult to put them all back. You've actually got more than four frogs. There's a little one up here that I didn't notice. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I didn't even see him. Um, yeah. This is beautiful and really fun colours by the looks of it too. So one of the ABs is a 141 which is just a white. It's a lovely clear white though with just, it's not a very big bag of um, ABs actually so there won't be many of these in there. And we have like this olive green or pea green AB, that's number 100. So then we have 130, which is a really bright yellow AB, and again, this is another small bag. And then the last one is 125, which isn't a green actually, it's a really light blue, so like a pastel blue colour, and there's more of these ones, I think, than the rest of them. So with the ABs in mind, we've got a green, a really light blue, a yellow, and a white. Now the white is um, scattered around in this larger frog here so you've got a couple scattered on the feet through the body uh, just below the eye there's some white in here in this smaller frog tiny little bit on his face and on these two faces as well so it's on every frog but only a little bit is like a highlight number two which is the lighter blue is mostly in this sky here so in the background, behind the frog, in between his legs, on this side in the clouds. Don't think there's any of the blue down here in the green area. Number three, which is the yellow, is highlighted small parts in this frog. Another small part there. A lot of it in this frog, so it goes all the way around his mouth. Um, anywhere else? In his leg. Same with this frog in his mouth. And there is some on this frog as well on the leg part. So there's not huge clumps of AB, which is good because I don't like it when there's massive amounts of AB clumps. The only part that is going to be clumped together is the blue, which is going to be here, all here and here. But there is other blue shades around it, so it's not going to look like one giant lump of ABs. So... As rendering goes, because if you haven't been here before, I am really fussy with my rendering. I'm actually really happy with this one. The only thing I can see that probably won't look as good as the rest of the canvas is that smaller frog in the background. Um, but he is meant to be further away, so you won't see him in detail anyway. So I think... Let's just go back to the picture. So if you can see, he's in a tree that's behind this tree, so it doesn't... I think the rendering is going to be fine. The background on this picture on the actual canvas looks absolutely fine. It's a landscape and it's a far, it looks like it's like it's meant to be far away. So it's meant to be blurry anyway. It's not going to be anything that's in the forefront of the picture. So it looks like it'll be absolutely fine. There is a bird um, right here on the canvas, which is also far away. So it doesn't need to be detailed. So with the rendering, I'm actually really happy with it. Um, really happy with the size of it, really happy with the colours, I'm happy that there's not too many AB, so I am really glad I bought it finally, um, and I will be doing this soon. I think what I might do this for is the Stash Busters event where it is animals, and I can't remember what month that is, but if you didn't know, um, myself and another friend run a Facebook group called Stash Busters where every month, no not sorry, not every month, every two months there's a new event. So, and that's just to get through things in your stash. There's no prizes, it's just to help each other 
get through their whips. Although it's actually making me want to buy more because I keep keep seeing everybody's progress and I think, oh my God, that's such a lovely picture. And then I want to go and buy it. So sometimes it helps, sometimes it, do <laughs> it doesn't. But there is an event um, in 2024 where you can pick animals and I might pick this one because I don't actually have that many animals in my stash. So the colours of the frogs, obviously you're going to have a purple and bluish one down there, but the majority of them are going to be orange and greens and yellows, and then you've got all the briar, uh, vibrant bright greens, which I am really looking forward to, and then the blues. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to go put it in my stash, and I cannot wait to do this one. This one will be on my wall. Um, and yeah, that this one will be done next year at some point, probably for the event in the animal month, I want to say it might be May or April, I'm not sure. But yeah, I will see you next time, thank you very much for watching and bye bye. I actually said I was going to show you the actual canvas didn't I, so let's show you the canvas upright, try and get it out of the sun, you see my little head peeking through just so I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Drill quality, I mean, not drill quality, some, sorry. Canvas quality looks great too. Can you see? Woo! I'm happy with that. All right, bye-bye.